What's up ladies and gents? Alright, I'm back. And today we're going to talk about terzepatide. I'm going to jump on that bandwagon and see what it's all about. Uh, I tried the bunk uh, retitrutide that they have out. Nah, no bueno. It doesn't do anything. It's hocus pocus. So, um, if you guys are new to my channel, uh, please don't like it. Don't subscribe. I'm not selling anything. Um, I'm just I'm just doing these videos to help you guys out because I was there once, you know, uh, concerned about, you know, what do peptides look like? How big are the vials? How many CCs do I need to get? Like all the, all those kinds of questions. I'm just here to give you the meat and potatoes, and that's it, man. So um, let's go. Let's talk about it. Terzepatide. Here's where I keep all my all of my magic here. I got everything nice and organized. So much stuff here. I put the all my I cut everything, put my doses and everything to all down here. All right. So today we're gonna go over. Here's the terzepatide. I already cracked the top off. All right. Boom. Here we go. All right. So terzepatide. Let me read my notes to you. Remember, guys, in all of my peptide videos, if you read the comments, I have uh, I put a, a, a link to the uh, how to dose your peptides, like a calculator. And I put the protocol in there uh, on the doses. So, um, uh, Tazepatide, for uh, protocol number one for a healthy person, not obese, 2.5 milligrams sub Q, I am whatever, once a week for for a month. Then increase to five milligrams uh, sub Q once a week for the second month. Uh, you can cycle it twice a year with equal time off. And most healthy experience, most healthy people experience dramatic results with just 2.5 milligrams. Okay. Then the protocol number two for obese people. Uh, obese people keep increasing the dose 2.5 milligram increments every four weeks, but never exceed 15 milligrams a week. You can cycle twice a year with equal time off. So Tuzepatide, you know, they sell it five milligram vials, 10 milligram, 15 and 30 milligram vials. Um, it's also uh, ranked better than semi-glutide from what I read. I don't know, I don't have any personal experience with that. But um, so basically, in the comment section when I give all the doses um, it's gonna be you got I like to use one cc see people like to use a lot of, of, of bacterial stat fluid in their uh, peptides but there's no reason for it. I like to keep it small down to one cc that way you save on your bacterial uh, water and it's it's less you have to inject okay so I have I've calculated everything in the comments. You can check it out to um, what it. You're basically going to inject 25 units, okay? So here's a one cc syringe, 100 units in here. All right, each little mark is one unit. All right, so I'm going to put one cc into my tricepatide, and your dose once a week is going to be 25 little marks. So just put 25 to the pin right there. All right, so let's mix this up. So the most important thing about all this stuff is always like um, uh, sterile. You want to keep everything sterile. So you can use, you know, I got alcohol preps here. Spray everything down, mist my hands, and whatnot. All right. So it's basically already sterile, but I'll just go through the steps for you guys. Remember, there's a vacuum in, in these vials, so we have to... In order to get, once we mix it out, in order to get the um, liquid out, we're gonna have to put positive pressure inside of here. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard to draw it out, all right? So it's the same thing in here. So I'm gonna pull back to 100, 100, which is one cc or one ml, same thing. Put in here. Pull one cc of air in, because we're taking one cc out. Basically, we're just gonna I 
There you go. Now we're all mixed up. All right, if you want an easy way just to get the rest of the air, the vacuum out of there, just undo this and poke it and it'll release the pressure. It'll release the suction. Boom, all right, suction's released. Sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. I just got back from the gym, all right? By the way, you like my tan? M1 tan. It's better than M2. No freckles, better color. So there you have it. I'll let this hang out for a little bit, let it mix up on its own. And then we're, we're just gonna pull it up. When we go to inject, see, I like using, I like using these little 30 needles right here because they're easier, they're more fine tuned. Especially like when you get down, when you're, when you're um, doing copper peptides, like I got the dose down to like four to two units to four units and you, you, no way you could do like pull up two or four units on this thing this thing easily pull up yeah, accurate so 25 on here is the same as 25 on the 1m okay so to pull it out of here that's all you're gonna do you're gonna pull back pull back 25 of air and inject it 25 of air in and then pull back what you what you need but me I mean yeah since you're doing it once a week yeah I would, I would I would just use one syringe once a week but if I was injecting this like if I'm doing like AOD 9604 which I'm doing twice a day then I'm gonna at 12.5 milligrams each time I'm gonna pull up a full hundred the, basically the whole thing into here and then I'm just gonna store it in here and then I'm just gonna inject 12.5 twice a day and keep giving myself bumps until this is gone it just saves me a lot of time when I, I got a whole regimen going here having to draw each one and just using the same syringe but every time I do do that I do sterilize the tip put it back together ain't nothing wrong with hitting it with a little alcohol keeps the area clean alright so that's it man keep it nice and simple